What's up, guys? Welcome back to another 2GR MR2 Progress video. Um, in the last video, I went over the uh, header design and stuff, and uh, I could those designs that I showed off couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've just been doing a bunch of 3D printing and stuff. Um, I had a whole floor of like just prints and stuff. So, um, in the last video, I mentioned how actually I'll just pop under. So I've been I redesigned everything. I have a new design, so it's uh, looking pretty good so far. The um, So basically, the old design, the plan was to have it kind of shoot out here and go to the right and then come back down. I couldn't have been more wrong measuring the, <laughs> the cross member, the firewall, all that stuff. Um, all my measurements were pretty much just total junk. So what I had, what I ended up doing is I just made a 3D scan of this whole area, the cross member, the axle, you know, the motor mount, the block head all that and um i designed up my own uh, header doing that um so basically now the plan is to have all three of these shoot out to the flywheel side um like i had mentioned before so basically like you know the collectors can be kind of like sitting right here and then uh, basically the y pipe will kind of do a 180 hopefully be able to fit in there <laughs> and then come up through the cross member here because right here there's like this relief and um, that'll give me a lot of room here for a uh, white pipe, and then I can have it, you know, kind of come back out left. But um, yeah, so basically I got pretty much this runner five. Um, it's almost done. I have to make one more cut, pretty much the 90 that goes into the collector, and then I gotta make runner uh, three and then one. Um, but so far, um, everything seems to be kind of lining up. Um, obviously transferring from like perfect CAD measurements to real life is pretty tough, so what I kind of figured out is that the CAD design is pretty much more of a guideline for the real thing. But even if it's a guideline, I mean, those exit points, those are pretty much about the same. Um, the, the, the green is runner um, three, so it's not it's not this runner, but they, they ended up, I mean, they kind of collect in the bottom, like at like equal planes. So, I mean, considering that, you know, those are pretty, uh, those are pretty close. So I'm hoping, um, the final design will be equal enough length to give me that sound and stuff but um yeah the clearance is actually pretty good i had messed up this runner last night i had clocked it a bit too far to the left and it was crashing into the mount but to be honest um i probably could have left it and just grinded this mount because um that's that's not too big of an issue but you know whatever made it fit so i have that uh going and doggy and then i made the uh collector here um so it's uh, it's not completely finished yet but i still need to weld like the top side but i mean it's uh pretty cool i still need to clean up the inside gotta get the uh the sugaring out and shit but yeah i mean the welds aren't uh too bad um this is pretty much my first take project so um as long as it doesn't leak i'm chilling <laughs> the uh the outlets they're at little different heights but it's not too big of a deal. I can make that up with the runner, either that, or I could just hit it with the belt sander and make it flush. I'll probably just make it up in the runner. But yeah, um, I've blown through, you know, like this hole, and I, I felt um, I felt kind of air passing in, getting sucked through here. So it's already kind of doing its job. So that's cool. Um, once I figure out how to weld this top side, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Um, if I, the camera's not really focusing. Um, maybe it is. I'm not sure. But um, I mean, I have. Uh, I do have that size 19 cup or whatever it is so i could probably just do like two inches of stick out i might be able to reach it but yeah um camera's there for recording um so the tools i guess i kind of mentioned um i've done a lot of 3d printed tools um this one it's a bit off i'm not gonna lie um this this was just supposed to um basically i just stick some straight pipe in and then i can clamp this down and then it would kind of guide me but it being plastic you know if it goes in at an angle it'll just cut through it so it helped a little bit um just i mean these I, I haven't really been using this to cut anymore but it does kind of help um just be able to stick the pipe in and just see how flat of a cut it is and then i can just go over there to the center and stuff um this piece is for the angles um this piece off here so these are just pre-bent you know like 180 uh bends basically this just kind of sits in here and this piece just has some pegs and it goes in here and I can square it up with a T. And then, um, so each, each one of these holes, um, represents whatever the CAD, uh, angle spits out. So like 
I think like this one was like 82.99 degrees and this one was like 79.8, you know? So it just helps me kind of get like a general um, angle cut because honestly like the, the, the level of like tolerance or whatever that the CAD spits out is not what <laughs> I am able to cut. So I just need to get it close enough and then I can kind of figure it out at the end. Um, See, uh, it did, this was for the uh, merch collector. I need to print another one because the bottom part snapped off. But basically, you just cut three of these, and they all kind of line up. Um, this merch collector took me like all day to make, but um, I'm mean, not the shelf ones. I think are like 200 bucks or something for like a pair from like uh, some company. So, I mean, this was like it was probably like 13 bucks of stainless tube. So, not too bad. Um, Ford band. Um, I just got that built sander. Oh, that thing fell. Huh. Whatever. I'm not using that. Um, yeah, um, I've just been using the TIG. Uh, let's go back under here. Um, it's pretty... So far, so good, really. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of trouble once I uh, get all three of these runners mixed up. Or, like, set up, and then I have to merge it. Because that's going to be uh, probably quite a challenge. But we'll, uh, we'll see. Um... I have some three inch pipe. It was just aluminized or whatever, but I was just using this for uh, kind of like an idea on uh, how well it's gonna fit. Um, hopefully I'll have room, but we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see, this might be better here if it's like kind of curved. Yeah, so I mean, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm more worried about the headers at the moment. I can make the white pipe adjustments and stuff. Um, as far as clearance and stuff, um, it's pretty good. Uh, I have, I can fit my whole fingers between uh, the primary here and the uh, cross member. So I think, um, I'm not sure if I'll really be having any clunking issues or burning it. I mean, maybe on the motor mount? I don't think so. I mean, this bracket's attached with the, to the motor as well as this, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, and then and the axle, I mean, these, these primaries aren't the ones that I'm concerned about the axle clearance. It's going to be the number one here, uh, but I'll make it fit. Three models fit, so, or the three prints fit. So, yeah, um, I mean, pretty much I just have to cut some stuff, and this isn't the bend, but, you know, it'll kind of shoot out right there, merge. Um, it'll probably aim more like that, because I think the cut next cut I have to use like 70 degrees. So, yeah, I'll get back to it, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I still have to design the front bank. Uh, the front bank, I have really, really rough scans. Um, whenever I, I modeled something in CAD and then I 3D printed it for the front bank, it was just completely off. So I think something's up with the way I'm scanning it. Um, but it's all good. I mean, I'm just using my phone to scan it, so it's nothing like crazy uh, fancy or anything. So, but yeah, um, I'm trying to see the people down there. Pretty cool. Um, I should probably mention, actually, I wonder if I can see it. Um, the the ports do come out at a 21 degree angle. I did mention that in the last video, but it is honestly pretty um, significant how sharp of an angle that is really. Um, here, let me pull up this flange. I have a spare cut here. Um, it is honestly pretty crazy um, how sharp of a bend it is um, straight out the head. Cause I mean, I can't imagine, you know, cause you know, technically it's supposed to be or coming out the head, you know, it's like this straight line, but I mean, having like a perpendicular cut on the flange, it's kind of crazy how sharp of a bend uh, it has to do with straight out the head. So, um, yeah, um, that's just a funny tidbit, I guess. Just some cool stuff that uh, Mark figured out when he did the cross sectional cuts. Um, but yeah, um, that's, a bit for, that's about it for now. Um, the next video will probably just be um, probably when the headers are done. Um, hopefully, they'll be done in a couple of weeks. Because <laughs> at that point, um, I'm gonna drop the motor, make the white pipe, bolt on the clutch, and then pretty much this thing would be roadworthy. Um, I have to do some like coolant hoses and stuff, um, just for maintenance and stuff, just because. But yeah, and then um, I do have to buy the wire sheathing still for the harness, but I'm not too concerned about that right now because it's just, I, I know it works. So I'd rather kind of have it be able to run and drive, and then I can just pull everything off again and then um, resheathe it because the wiring harness comes off really easy thanks to the bulkheads. So yeah. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.